Hi everyone, it's Rue at the King's Roost, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the aquaponics system we have at the store. You really have to see these systems working to appreciate how amazing they really are. If you're not familiar with aquaponics, it is a system of growing fish and organic vegetables together without soil while using only 10% of the water that you would use in normal in-ground gardening. Here's how it works. Essentially, it's a fish tank linked up to a hydroponic growing system. If you raise fish separately, you're going to need a good filtration system that you need to clean out periodically. If you grow vegetables independently, you need a good source of fertilizer, clean, healthy soil, and a reliable water supply. When you link the two systems together, they serve each other's needs. The plants clean the water for the fish, and the fish provide the fertilizer for the plants. The nutrient-rich fish water is cycled through to the grow bed where it gets broken down by the beneficial bacteria, then gets eaten up by the plants, and the fresh, clean water is then returned to the fish, closing the cycle. So the fish provide the fertilizer, and the plants function as a filter. It's amazing. You put in fish food, and you get out fresh fish and vegetables. Now, let's take a look at the demonstration system here at the King's Roost. This is a typical size 300 gallon four bed system using each of the four main types of grow beds. Kits can come with any combination of grow beds and fish tanks that you would want from a single grow bed for say a balcony or patio up to eight grow beds all linked together. So here you have the fish tank which I've stocked with tilapia. Here let me turn the water off for a second so you can see what they look like. It's early in the season still so they're still quite small but this tank will eventually hold up to 40 pounds of fish. Now tilapia are tropical fish and great for warm climates, but if you live in a colder climate, you can use other fish like bluegill or catfish. And down here at the bottom, you can see, it's kind of hard to see, you've got a, I've got a placostomus in there, which is an algae eater that helps me keep the tank clean. If you don't plan on eating your fish, you can use a decorative species like koi or goldfish. But don't use turtles because they can carry salmonella. So the water from the fish tank drains into a holding tank where a pump sends it around to the grow beds. There are two main types of grow beds, media-based and raft-based. Here's a media-based system that contains expanded clay pebbles, which are called the grow media. Those pebbles don't break down, and their function is just to provide something for the roots to hold on to and a home for the beneficial bacteria that break down the fish poop into fertilizer. These systems are great for all kinds of veggies. Here I have kale, lettuce, chard, also got beans, peppers, tomatoes, a huge bunch of celery over here, and I've also got cucumbers coming as well as broccoli, strawberries, and later on in the season I'll be planting onions and eggplants. You can't do root veggies very well as they will spend most of their time underwater, which isn't good for them. This media bed is set up as an ebb and flow system, which means that the water rises and falls all day long within the grow bed, which not only brings nutrients and water to the roots, but oxygen as well. As you can see here, the water flows in at a steady slow rate, filling the grow bed, and once it fills up, it drains completely empty thanks to a simple device called a bell siphon. Over here, we have a raft-based system, which is a food-safe foam tray that floats in the nutrient-rich water. These are ideal for producing lettuces and other leafy greens, and you can link a whole bunch of them up in a daisy chain. The one thing you do need with this type of grow bed is a solids filter so the roots don't pick up any loose particles from the water that would clog them up. Look at that. Those are the roots hanging down right in the water, soaking up all that nitrogen from the fish waste and turning it into leafy greens. Here you can see the water pipe bringing the water into the grow bed in a constant, slow flow that just overflows back down into the reservoir tank. Over here I have bok choy, lettuce, mustard greens, and Swiss chard. Aha, uh -huh. it looks like something is eating my Brussels sprouts over here. So this is a good time to talk about pest control. I don't like to use sprays, and so when I have bugs in the system, I like to use ladybugs, which is a natural and organic way to take care of pests. I love aquaponics for a lot of reasons. For one, you don't need any soil. So if you either have poor soil quality or don't have any soil at all, say if your only place to plant is on a patio, in a driveway, or on a balcony, then you can still do aquaponics. You can also plant the plants twice as close together and they grow twice as fast. So you get four times the yield of traditional in-ground gardening. Now the system does require some electricity, but here the pump and bubbler together use up less electricity than you might think. The total power requirement for this system is less than a single household light bulb. The other benefit, you also get organic, fresh fish and vegetables together. If you want to see this system for yourself, stop by the store anytime or in the Silver Lake neighborhood of Los Angeles 
or visit our website at kingsroost.com. Mm -hmm.